Can you believe it? We're in the what? Oh, the Audi S8. $126,000 of German engineering goodness. Oh. And you got to drive this bad boy when it was introduced in California. You guys can check that out on tflcar.com. But today we get it for a whole week, so we're going to do a proper 0 to 60 TFL car review. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. introduce you to the most fabulous V8 that I have driven in a very long time because it puts out 520 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque and it's turbocharged hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive and paddle shifters and cylinder deactivation and pretty much every bit of modern technology that you can think of this is the crown and the jewel of Audi Nathan <laughs> guys zero to 60 I have it in sport mode in dynamic mode I'm gonna give it a little bit of juice and just let go of the brake here we go oh that takes off oh my god it pushes my face back on there 60 4.46 <laughs> seconds that is very fast zero to 60 at a mile above sea level This Audi S8 defines the word flagship. I mean, it is just oozing with style, with technology, with massive 21 inch wheels, huge rotors, perhaps everything you'd want in a car that represents what is the best of the brand DNA. However, style wise, it's pretty understated like all new Audis, wouldn't you agree, Nathan? I would agree, but this thing has curb appeal like no other vehicle I have ever seen. And just as importantly for me, the front end matches the mwah, rear end. Oh, I just like slapping Helga. That's her new name. All right, Nathan. Nathan, I'm going to name some cars that compete with this. You tell me how you think they do. Okay. Let's start with the Lexus LS F Sport. <laughs> Look, it's a good car. Don't get me wrong, but the F Sport thing is kind of deceptive. It's it's it's. It won't compete with this car. It's probably over almost $40,000 less than this thing. And it's a great car, but they're just completely different. Completely. BMW 7 Series Alpina. <sighs> I drove, the fastest I've ever driven was in an Alpina a long time ago with the first generation of it. And to be honest with you, it's an amazing car. This is more amazing. I agree. Um, it's getting a little long in the tooth now. BMW has never found a home for the 7 Series, and it's still kind of out there. All right, here's a tougher one. Porsche Panamera Turbo, because they're almost identical 0 to 60, and the dynamics of the cars are very similar. Pa Panamera is a sports car. This is an electric car. That's that's where they, the bridge goes different. And Panamera, look, I, a lot of people out there agree with me. It's not a very pretty car, but once you drive it, it's gorgeous. This car is... a pretty is, car. This is a pretty car, yeah. from the inside out. Pretty car, pretty, pretty, pretty car. And uh, frankly speaking, I, I like the GTS a lot too. And I think that that car kind of competes with this one in terms of its ability, but yeah, this is the better car. There we go. <laughs> Getting tunnel vision, and here's 60 right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> 4.33. I knew I could go faster. 4.33. Oh, I love doing that. That is why I love this job. My gosh, that is so much fun. I think that car is deceptively quick, and I think Roman now has a new appreciation for its oh power. Check How this, fast? Check this out. Look at that. 4.33. Yeah, it's 4.33. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn, that's what I'm talking about. You know, everything you said about this thing, I just got, you know what, slapped right across Boom. the Boom. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this thing is just ridiculously fast. There's no launch control either. It just does it. Yeah, it doesn't have launch control, and it doesn't need launch control because it's... <laughs> I think that's like the third fastest car we've tested. It is, it here. is, yeah. Uh, except for the GTR, this is, uh, you know, that's a balls-out sports car. Here you have a luxurious cruiser. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Love this car. I've always appreciated the way Audis are designed from the inside out. They make fantastic interiors, best in class by far, but at the same time, please stop putting carbon fiber in cars that don't need it. This thing weighs as much as a school bus and you don't need carbon fiber trim in the interior. But with that said, the brushed aluminum, perfect. The leather, amazing. The seats, fantastic, especially with massage. I sit in parking lots, turn the thing on and just uh, have that smile on my face. Good interior. You know, Nathan, I've been lucky enough to drive in the last two months the Bentley Flying Spur and the Maserati Quattro Porte. And you know what? This car is every bit as good on the inside as both of those cars. And what I've learned from that experience hmm. is that for Maserati, you're paying about $40,000 more for the name. Uh -huh. And Bentley, you're paying about $75,000 more for the name. This is understated in that respect, isn't it? This car directly competes with the BMW 7 Series, which is getting a little long in the tooth now. Oh, with the new Mercedes S-Class, which we didn't get to drive, so... Mm, well, the AMG version, at least, when that comes out. And, of course, the Porsche Panamera Turbo S. Actually, they're almost identical in terms of performance. But this looks much better. <laughs> I mean, sorry, it does. It's, it's, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it's yeah. elegant, it's refined, it's classy. But, for me, there is a little issue and that is the steering. I feel it's kind of artificial and there are four different car settings if I jump to car mode right here mm -hmm. and all those different settings can be adjusted within those four settings. So you have sport mode, dynamic mode, auto mode and frankly it's too much. I don't want to be able to go into the operating system of this car to that depth, right? It's just a little too many inputs for my liking. Maybe I'm an analog guy in, in a, what's becoming a crazy digital world of modern cars. Yeah, see, I'm the opposite. I like the fact that you can tune the car the way you want it, you know, after about a minute of playing with the buttons. I know, it's kind of one of those things where like, well, hold on one second, let me switch this to where I need it to go before I take the car on the road. But it's pretty quick, actually. You can get there, even though I don't like the MMI system, it does do the job. It will get you there. And I agree with you about the steering. It is kind of electric feeling, but the handling responds. You feel the car doing exactly what you want it to do. Yeah, I just can't find that perfect setting. It just feels artificial and not mechanical. I, I, I don't have a sense of road feel that I want to have in this car, but look at that, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, when you do that, that is uh, way too fast. I did that one more time just to get the uh, instrument cluster and I went even faster, 4.30, check it out. <laughs> Audi, I am officially impressed by what you have built. This is uh, supercar territory, yeah, yeah, pretty damn fast. Buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it. What buy it! Buy it! Buy it! It's fast corners! Really fast! I disagree, Nathan. I'm gonna give it a lease it because Audi makes a detuned version of that very engine, sticks it in the A8, calls it the 4 liter, and it's 15,000 cheaper. Why not? It's the same car. Because it's hard! For we disagree. We disagree. As always, this is Roman and Nathan saying thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe for a new video every day. Check us out on Facebook. You know the rest. Ciao. You know, it's like Goldilocks. The thing's either uh, too, too overboosted or too underboosted, and I just can't find that sweet spot. It just feels mechanical. You know, you say Goldilocks? Well, I say it's one of the three bears who beat up on Goldilocks. Is that, you don't like that girl? Slap!
get out of my bed. Stop, don't mess with my porridge. This car has root deep down inside, which is really cool because most German cars, they're kind of featherweights in that respect. This one does have something going on. Yeah, this will slap you <laughs> upside the face and tell you, what I'm tell you who's your about. boss. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>